and three, two, one, now. Hi, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3 with Lightning. And uh, yeah, so let's get right back into this. Now, I said in the last part that I'm hoping to get a lot of these, uh, come on, a lot of these uh, viewpoints out of the way. So that's what I'm going to be doing this time. Um, yeah, sorry it's not going to be mission heavy or anything. That's what I want to do. I, I like getting the uh, viewpoints out of the way, just because it gives you like a fuller, fuller view of the the area. Like pretty simple. I, usually, you also get like a trophy or achievement if you're playing on Xbox for it. Um, but yeah, I like getting it out of the way. And plus, running around doing all this will help me uh, hopefully find more pages, maybe other collectibles. I don't see any guards around, so it shouldn't be a big problem if I climb up right here. But yeah, I know uh, you've probably seen uh, either my like how I wrote up the description for these videos, or uh, just the uh, the way I play it in general. I'm not too thrilled with this game so far. Uh, I'm not trying to be a troll or anything like that. But I mean, hopefully you can see and understand at least, even if you don't agree, understand why I'm not liking it thus far. Um, I know there's other people out there who share my opinion on this and not too thrilled with the game. Um, I don't really want to come out and say, oh, this is a terrible game, because I'm not anywhere close to finished it yet. I already know that. So let's find this next one here. Uh, here's the next close one. Uh, like, I'm not even Connor, who I assume... Ooh, what's this over here? It's a weird symbol. Who I assume is the, uh... The main assassin we're supposed to play as. What, is just because I can blend in with these group of people? That's what it is? I don't know what that symbol meant on my radar. Anyways, this next place doesn't look like there's any guards around here, really. So I can easily, should be able to easily hop up here. I'm surprised there's, like, I know there's Almanac pages. I don't know, you know, is that going to be a recurring thing? Like, after I find these four, is there going to be, like, another eight or something like that? I imagine so. It seems, based on what, what I, like, the descriptions say on what you get for Almanacs and stuff, that will be the case. But, uh... You know, I was kind of expecting you know, there's feathers and two uh, data fragments, stuff like that. And I'm interested to see how they're, if, well, I assume they will, but how they're going to put Desmond in. Jeez, that looks like a far jump to that one. Okay, let's see here. Oh, oh, I hate this stupid map system. I'm going to work my way down, maybe a little bit to the right. Like, I'll go, go kind of go this way. And I want to get down to this treasure, and what's this? Frontier. Well, I'm going to go down... Maybe I'll just get all this, these uh, viewpoints out of the way. And Actually, maybe I'll go back up to the top, get these out of the way, and make, work my way down to the treasure, and have that as a separate video. Can I pet the pig? Oh, I can! Or I just happen to have food, okay? But yeah, like I, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm someone who likes the collectathon type games. Uh, like I played Banjo Kazooie before, and a lot of people say that's one. I did not like that game. Didn't not like that one or two. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I wouldn't say I was. If I had to pick a game to play, I'd get it. Like I had an N64. I never bought that game. My cousin had it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, there's a hay cart. Jump to that one. Bust right through it. Oh shit, okay. I thought I jumped the wrong way for a second. I just did a weird turn in midair type thing. So now I'm gonna head back up. Ah, frick, I keep screwing this up. Let's head up to this viewpoint. 
Uh, I haven't really been watching my radar. Hopefully I haven't ran past when a paper was in the area. Or Almanac page. Can I pet this dog? I haven't been... There we go. I was, wasn't able to pet a dog before. I wonder if that will, like, you know, if I ended up getting in a fight right after, if that dog would uh, assist me because I pet it. Like, I'm not saying it has to have a point, but it seems like in games, usually stuff like that would have a point. It's cool. It might just be a neat little feature, but I assume there's going to be more to it. Like, maybe if you befriend a dog enough, he'll uh, help you out. Okay, that was a weird sound. I'm trying to keep an eye on both where I'm going and on my radar. Like I said, I'm, I'm really, I want to get all these almanac pages. Oh, what the heck? No, no, I'm just thinking now. Um, you know, a lot of games will use the Unreal Engine, and uh, now the Glacier, is it Glacier 2 or is it Frostbite Engine, or maybe those are separate ones. But a lot of people are starting to use those in their games. Um, oh shit, I didn't even really look around to see if there's anyone nearby. It's too late now. But uh, I wonder if anyone's going to like kind of use this. There's not a whole lot of games that are in this type of style where it would be useful. So I just wonder if, uh, you know... Any other games would be using this engine to make. I can't think of anything similar. I mean, Uncharted has climbing. I mean, a lot of games have climbing, but that's about it. And usually they have their own engines and stuff that can do it fairly well. Or better. Depending on what you like. Okay, so on the way down. <laughs> Let's do this one here. Oof! Go this way. But uh, so far, like I was saying, you know how I feel about this if you've been watching my videos. But I don't think, even people that like this game have been kind of disappointed with Connor. He's not, he's not Altair Ezio. Like, people aren't going to really, people don't seem to be warming up to him as they did with those two. Yunk. So far no pages. Like I said, I've been trying to keep an eye open on both my radar and this game. There we go. That's something that pissed me off. And I can't remember I think two of the other Assassin's Creed games, you weren't able to do like a wall jump up like that that I just did. And I was like, well, why? It seems so obvious. You have to get it later in the game. This one, yes, you can do it right off the bat. Out of the way, Eagle. <clears throat> so once I get them all, I should be able to look at them. Ooh, another treasure. I'm going to try to get that treasure because it's right up here. I mean, there's no point in doing it all, ending up at the bottom, and then starting the treasures if I can get the treasure right now. Uh, there's looks like a hay cart, and it's kind of in the right direction too. Pah. <clears throat> See, there's some things I don't understand about this though. Oh, okay, guard dog. Fascinate. I hope you're picking, you're not really picking, you're breaking a lock. I got some gold. Um anyways, like I was saying, I don't understand. Ezio's in the, or not Ezio, Desmond's in the Animus, and he's living these things, but is it like he's kind of watching TV and 
he's just in the spot of the main character, but he has no influence over it. Because, I mean, if that is the case, then it wouldn't really help them as, uh, in the real world, try to figure out what happened back then, because you could be doing whatever the heck he wants, doesn't mean that's what happened. But on the other side, if he is just sitting there and kind of watching this stuff go by, and he doesn't uh, have any influence of his own, then, like, how can I fail a mission? Doesn't make any sense either. Should be a whole lot more linear, if you ask me. Kind of a weird open area. Nothing here. I mean, there's water, but who cares? I really put an emphasis on these animals here. And another thing I did not like from the other Assassin's Creed game is all the freaking, uh, like, having, sorry, not all the, all the horses in the city. I think that was, was it Brotherhood or Revelations that introduced it? It was a terrible idea, and I see they have that here too. Just like, do not like that at all. Okay, now there's some guards here, so I'm gonna go on this side where these stupid kids are. Ah, I didn't really look at all for pages there. But I imagine I'd probably see them if they were in the area I'm at. And I'll probably come through a lot of these areas again. Every time I get to the top, by synchronizations, you can play that stupid horn. Synchronize. cart in front of me. I think that's the only one I really got a chance at. And oops. Frick. This is so stupid. I'll do across to these three. I'll then work my way down the line there. Talk. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Damn it, I'm trying to jump away. Thank you. I just wonder uh, after this if they're going to make a whole lot more uh, Assassin's Creed games like, you know, Brotherhood, uh, in the vein of Brotherhood and uh, Revelations, where it's not the true sequel, but uh, nonetheless they are uh, following up games that kind of give more into the Assassin's Creed world on the particular characters. Particular character's adventure, like, uh, you know, I don't know what they'll have for Connor, what they would call it, but you know, another Assassin's Creed game featuring him and more of his uh, adventures. Because from what I've read, from what I've obviously played, uh, there could be a lot of improvements to this game. That's probably the other one right over there that to climb up top of that hill. here. Nothing else has really popped up my map as far as collectibles go. Just that one treasure chest is the only thing I found. You. I wish though if you've seen pages that it would kind of keep the location on your map. A lot of steep inclines in uh, this game. The other games, I don't think that you could really get up a lot of these uh, the steeper ones. Like this, probably not. I'll probably slide. Uh, hopefully I can climb. Oh yeah, I can easily climb that. I can see the things already. Or maybe not. How'd I get up to them though? Yeah. You had to come right up on the side. Nope. Nope. Uh, yes, that's what you gotta do. do it all. Don't know why that happened.
What the heck? Jump? What is going on? Yes. No! Synchronize! Why would you tell me I can synchronize when I can't? There's nothing really in this area anyways. Like, uh, there probably will be like, just because I said that, probably be like a treasure map. Or I mean, an almanac page or some treasure chest. Oh, nothing. So there was absolutely nothing in that area. <laughs> Well, it looks like I'll probably get this one done, and that'll probably be it for this uh, part. Sorry, it's a pretty uneventful as far as combat goes, but uh, like I said, I like getting these out of the way. It really helps later on if you're trying to find collectibles. Right now, the only collectible I even know I can find is those almanac pages. I mean, treasure chests too. I wouldn't really call them collectibles. They're kind of just bonuses, but <clears throat> that's the only thing I know about, or only things I know about. Uh, but later on, you know, when they introduce whatever else there is to collect, I'll have all the areas that's discovered, and it'll be easy for me to figure out what's going on. Plus, as far as the radar goes, it helps. You don't have, like, this fog on your radar that, for places you haven't been. Because you get a whole... You have a great big look at the world, or the town, or the section of the town you're in. Seems like all these viewpoints, there's no guards around. There was that one that had guards, but they were only on one side, which is pretty easy to get by. Seems like there'd be something right there. We'll see, as soon as I sink, usually that stuff like that would pop up if there was a chest in that area. from then okay now I'm up to the very top it looks stupid like that on one foot because the other foot does not look like it's natural the way it is oh, oh I was gonna clip the side of the roof even if it didn't actually hurt me it'd be hilarious to see so this is where I'm gonna be going next but I'm gonna cut this video here and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment or subscribe as always and uh, yeah, hopefully next time we'll have a little bit more action. We'll find out what this frontier is and we'll have another chest for sure. Okay, thanks. Bye.